always do about this stuff. What up, what up, what is up? What up, yo? It's your boy, Rock Up Martin, the building. You know who that guy is, Detroit man, the man good, with the grand master good, plan for the IOW network. And here we are, another episode of I Often Wonder that podcast. Is that is us, that be us. Let's get all the pretending and shit out of the way before we start cutting up in this giant. I don't know to the website, www. I Often Wonder. Check this out. Mm, 19. <laughs> I have to wonder. 19.com is a website. Feeling real charitable. Go ahead, drop some little coins and a little Patreon. And that helps Detroit Mail and myself offset some of these expenses right, right. on what it takes to build a media conglomerate. Um, of course, if you want to cop some merch, got some ILW sports right, right. merch on there. Got some I often wonder right, right. Uh, merch on there. You got some J. Edwin collection. T-shirt, uh, clothing line on there, sweatshirts. You know, go cop some good stuff. It's, it's November. It's time to go go hoodie up. Get that hoodie, yeah, get you a hoodie. You know, um, damn, nigga. give me a chill, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, going over uh, that good uh, to your respective app store and go cop the RW. It's um network snack, snack time. Yeah, it's snack time. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We ain't get the time to eat <laughs> in between shows, so y'all gonna have to bear um, just um, smack it some, some smacking and some some crunching. Right, but uh, uh, definitely go get the IOW you know network. Is, yeah, go get the IOW network app. Um, it's available on the Google Play Store and of course the Apple Store. Um, a lot of great content, a lot of great stuff going on on that. So definitely go go copy it. Go copy it. I'm telling you, and go show us some love on our Facebook and and uh, YouTube page. Hit the like button hit that bell notification so that every time we drop a show click click or go live you get uh uh the notification that we right. own and you be one of the first people to check out the show uh and definitely go ahead and, and drop your comments um but now that we got all that out of the way we definitely got um a topic that's uh in the headlines been going on um okay here oh <laughs> I was like, why the hell does sound do that to your boy? But anyway, no, um, so today's show is who gets the blame? That's what we're doing. Who gets the blame? Because uh mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, the subject we're talking about, um, of course, you guys um who have been paying attention to what's going on in the world, uh the Travis Scott uh, uh concert. Right. Um, I can't even yeah. remember the, the festival. Um, uh, Astro World. Yeah, Astro World. Uh, what? What? They was down in Texas. They was down in Houston. Mm-hmm. Out yeah, in Houston. Yeah, they're down in Houston. Um, and then now there's a a uh, a lawsuit. So uh, Travis Scott, Drake, Live Nation, who was the promoters, and others. Right. They're gonna come out some more. Yeah. Some more. Are 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 being sued by concert goers over crowd surge at Astro World Music Festival. Right, right. Um, and honestly, me and Mel were talking about the situation mm-hmm. uh, off air, and uh, there's a, I think there's a fair amount of blame to go on. I agree. Uh, for a lot of people, uh, you know, uh, just being honest. Um, uh, if if you ask me, I, I think it was a, a little bit too many people there. I think it was overcrowded. Um, I think that's fair to say. Uh, so if you asking me, uh, I think the majority of the share or the blame 
should go to uh, Live Nation, uh, the concert promoters. Okay. Um, because I think they were uh, reaching for, uh, you know, the the hype and the uh, profile and the publicity that comes with Travis Scott, Drake, and other people. <clears throat> and I think they oversold the tickets compared to the capacity of what could have been hold. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um because if I remember it correctly, it, they had the stage and it's, it's, it's a big open area. But still, if you don't control the amount of people in there, I mean, I, we've all been to concerts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've all been to concerts. You know, it, it get crowded. It get crowded. Um, but I think there's a difference between having a full crowd and then a overcrowded crowd. Right. Um, if you had to the point where you can't move. Um, you smelling everybody's farts and breath, you know, um, you a little bit too close. You're too close, man. Facts. <laughs> you too close. Bag up. Yeah, bag up. <laughs> you know, but it, it, uh, it sounds like this is where there's no room for that. There's no space. There's no, you know, no breather room. Ain't no elbow room. You know, I I like to keep my elbow room. That that's my that's my thing. Right. My wingspan is my bubble. <laughs> you know, elbow room. Elbow. Back up. Back up. Yeah, back up. Um, but you know, I, and um, so I I I would probably put majority of the blame on Live Nation. Okay. Um, because I think they were being just, uh, you know, seeing the opportun opportunity to maximize the dollars and not necessarily caring about, you know, the occupancy number. I don't think they, they cared about that. I don't think they cared about, you know, how many people you can or can't let in there. Mm -hmm. um, they were just like, oh, well, we just going to keep selling tickets and we just fill their bitch up. Blame. Yeah, for me, I think it's a enough blame to go around. Yeah, I agree with Live Nation. You know, to a degree too, because at any time, people had had the opportunity to stop the concert. Yeah, and when you when you see that there's multiple people getting injured. You may not know that they actual deaths, because you know you gonna know it's actual deaths. But you see, there's multiple uh, injuries out there. You can tell somebody getting injured. You can tell there's something going on when the ambulance is coming through there, and you see that. Yeah, they now to be fair, Travis Scott did acknowledge the the, the uh, EMS coming through the crowd. Yeah, he acknowledged that. You know, um, I think even Playboy Cardi had said something to a degree of well I'll get to play by card in a minute. I'm gonna finish this part. So he acknowledged that you now EMS coming through, but then when people were jumping on the EMS, not letting the EMS back through, yeah, I think Travis Scott, because he holds power in his hand as the the act as the MC as the as the, as the, the star MC, of the show. Mike controller. Right. He could have been hey y'all move out the way. Mm -hmm. You know, let let the, let the EMS go through so they can carry these people through. He was more concerned about let's keep this party going, let's keep it going. So then that that lies the blame on him. That's fair. Um, the the venue itself, they didn't have enough medical staff. Yeah, they were definitely shorthand. They were they didn't have enough medical equipment. Mm -hmm. They had reports of people saying um, some of the people that were there as medical staff. They didn't even know how to perform CPR correctly. So oh, you had so you had people that are supposed to be your medical staff, they're not even properly trained. Oh, so so then that then if, if that's the case, wouldn't that be um a city problem? Well, yeah, I guess you got the city to that too, then. So I don't know who hires the medical staff. Was a private medical staff where the facility actually has its own medical staff, or what because I, I didn't get the clarity on that. Or was it if I, city? medical staff from local hospitals. I don't if know. If I'm correct. Or clinics. If I'm correct, um, the promoter is responsible for the venue. Okay. Um, the uh, security, mm -hmm. medical staff. Okay. Things like that. Promoter. Uh, now, I used to do catering for a guy who did concerts and stuff. So I would pretty much, I would cater for the acts and stuff. Mm -hmm. People backstage, all the stage hands, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I'm not mistaken, 
what he told me is that he, and I think it may be, and, it, and you can correct me because it's been yeah. a while since so I did it. People that's listening to this, and it may vary from venue to venue. But True. when he actually books the venue, you know, I know he has to get insurance. Yes, I know that much. Yes, you got to get bond insurance. I'm not mistaken. And I think when it comes to all the other stuff, it may be. I think it depends on if that venue supplies it. Mm. <clears throat> now I may be wrong because it's been years since yeah. I've done this, you know, and listen to him, what he was telling me. So I don't know if it's based on venue to venue. So maybe th- that particular venue sounded like it was a huge venue. So you would assume that at least had his it might have had its own security. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as medical staff, that I'm not sure about. Um, if they had their own medical staff. So even if it, if it's the venue's medical staff, then the venue has blame on that too. If it's a local metal staff, then the city has blame on that because why you don't have properly trained people? people. Like, I think they had a a, a nurse. A nurse, to, she's an RN. She was at the, she was originally in the concert in the middle of getting smushed. Oh, she fainted. Yeah. They had a crowd surf her out. Mm. And then when she came to, finally got her coming through, she uh, divulged that she was a nurse. So she started helping people. So she asking, uh, she said, don't do, she's telling them, hey, no, 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 don't, did you check a post? They said, yeah. She don't check it. Don't check a radio post. Do a carotid post. They didn't know the difference. Oh. You know? And so my thing is, um, how can you be a trained medical personnel and you don't know the difference between the radio and the carotid? Yeah. You know, one's in the neck, one's in the in the uh, forearm. Yeah. So how you know the difference? Yeah. So I think that's that's that was some issues. And then you have the issue of the pro- concert um, performers egging the crowd on. I think, um, like, I was going back to Playboy Cardi, he was like, and I don't have to paraphrase him in exact words, he's like, some to a degree, yeah, I see the people hurt, blah, 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 let's keep this party going. You know, and then like when Travis Scott came out to do his set, he did his whole set. There's no way they shouldn't have shut that down. You know, you getting people, and I think one person said that there were people like laid out on the floor. Mm-hmm. So you can see a sea of people laid out on the floor. So and once they got, once you, you're getting a floor like that, you can trample. And, 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 because they, I do have to throw this caveat in there, um, you know, uh, you know, the chief of police, uh, Troy, Troy Finer, uh, uh, of Houston, you know, he 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 does confirm that that you know there's a possible, uh, um, you know, he's aware of reports of a possible drug spiking incident. So you know that that might be a caveat in there, uh, that that might. Uh, might have contributed to people falling out and dying because now uh you know just a couple hours ago uh, it's been confirmation that the ninth person has died so there's nine individuals you know and uh you know condolences out to those families so uh get that out the way uh because i don't want to you know for us to seem so insensitive because this this is a tragedy you know so there, there are people right. Whose lives are taken and their families are affected. So right, right. let's make that priority number one. So mm-hmm. they, you know, condolences to them, but you know, I, they're going to be looking for answers. Mm-hmm. You know, if, especially if that was my family, I would be want to find answers. Uh, unfortunately, for some of these artists like Travis Scott and Drake's mentioned his name, yeah, name, his name is because he brought well. Drake out. out. Yeah. So here's my thing too. To that point too. So you're going through a, a incident where you have all these people, you know, getting injured, possible deaths. You continue to concert. Then you even more to that, you bring Drake out. Mm-hmm. Now they even more hype. Now you bring more hype because you bring somebody else out that's popular. Mm-hmm. So you hyping the crowd up even more. So it's like you inciting a riot in a way. So my thing is like, and he has a history of doing that. Yes, yes, yes. And that's another I've, thing I've you gotta add to that. He has a history of doing that. Of, of just having wild concerts. Having wild concerts yeah. and egging people on. Yeah. As it get wilder, he wanted to get even wilder because, and I guess that's why we going on a road, that kind of speak to uh, what is, is this social media craze, have people so crazy to get views or get um, 
Ah, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, clout, clout, and uh, stuff like that. That they got. Okay, I got to be the wildest. I had the wildest concert. I got to have the the hypest concert. I got to have the the biggest incident. You know why, man? Is is it's money. <laughs> yeah, it's money. So hey, I mean, most artists. Hey, and and I remember J Cole saying this mm-hmm. in one of his songs. You, you know, he, for artists, uh, uh, your biggest money is on tours. Yeah. That's true. And concerts and stuff like mm-hmm. that. That's true. And so if if you are constantly <clears throat> being put up there as one of the best shows or concerts to go to and mm-hmm. and you just keep touring and touring and they sell out every time right. they sell out and that's more money coming into your pocket. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you got to find a way to, to put on a show. Right. And he, his show is... Is is so inclusive that you know people mm-hmm. are dying. So right, you, right. You might need to reel it back a reel little back bit. A little yeah, bit. you need to reel it back some. <laughs> um, uh, but I, I'm with you. I think there's a, a good amount of blame that can go around right. a lot of people. I think you know you got to look at us day and time. So we do anything for fame now. Yeah, and that includes you know hyping people up during a time of tragedy. Mm-hmm. And and it's not to say I'm putting all the blame on Travis Scott because I'm not. Yeah. You know, I think when they sent the word down that something's going on. I would have stopped the concert. And the I, the I, people, Live Nation could have stopped the concert. Hey, look, let's shut this down. Well, well hey, the guy, because they, you know, the people that's playing the music, they could have stopped the music. Yes. Turned the lights on. Of course, of course. And, and they, they should have reacted to that and then let Travis know, like, hey, bro, just chill out for a second on your set. Mm-hmm. We'll let you finish your set. Let's just clear this little situation up. Right. And then, you know, it, and then get back to it. Mm-hmm. But to your point, they're saying they're just for like, all right, hey, uh, help these people out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Right. Whoa, bro, you, right. you ain't going to let the situation clear out. You ain't, you nothing. You right. just, you know. It, it's like you're going from 10 to 9 back to 12. Because my thing is, is if all those people have already paid their, their tickets and already paid the money to be there, They'll wait for you to clear this little situation. Wait, they'll wait mm-hmm. 20, 30 minutes for right. the shit to clear up. Clear up. And then and we'll get back to the regular schedule program. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, you an MC. You a mic controller. Right. What's a mic controller do? They control the crowd. Control the crowd. You ha- he has the power to stop it. He does. <laughs> you know. It, it and, and it's thrown upon him because of his status. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if he realizes that he does have that control. I think he knows. And then you know, a lot of people talked about his response to it. Um, how he's kind of nonchalant in his response. Yeah. You know, yeah. You don't want to get too much and try to read people's body language and stuff, how the people should respond. But, you know, at the same time. I guess they wanted a full uh, a monologue. Or well, something. here's the thing. Because of the legality of it, he can't technically apologize because apologize is admitting guilt. Admitting guilt. Yeah. You know, so. I but, think he's just throwing out condolences to the family. Yeah. And whatnot. But then I think he he partnered up with uh, Better Health and he offered to pay for uh, 30 days of free. Medical bills and shit. Well, free mental, uh-huh. uh, you know, um, treatment. Then I think he offered to pay for the funerals of the people who died. But I mean, that's the least you can do. Considering that you egged it on, yeah, that's, fair. that's the least you could do. Now, hey, if, it, if it's something you stopped and everything, I don't necessarily say that you had to do that. It, it'll still, it'll been a nice gesture. I'm not saying not to do nothing, but consider consider that that's like that's like you you know you you beat your girl down in a domestic incident and say, oh, I'll get you some ice for that. Right. It's like that's the least you could do. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You didn't whip the butt. And I don't mean that to be funny. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? It's like you cost it. No, I just I'm just laughing at you. Yeah. I'm not laughing at the now. Right, yeah, I know you not. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just beat you down. Uh, I get some ice for you. Get some ice for you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you break her eye. Uh, you want to go to the hospital? I can take you. you know what I'm that's the least you can do. You know what I'm saying? You cost it. You cost it. Yeah. You know, so I think it's like no, that's fair though. That's you know, fair. it's the same instant uh, instance. You know, it's like you help egg this thing on, yeah. yeah, that's the least you can do. Yeah. And and then, you know, you got to talk about that. Do you, do you hear people, like one of his former managers talking about... Yeah, he, when he left them dead for a seizure or something Yeah, like that. he left them dead for a seizure. Then, like, how before he got real popular, he kind of did fake 
he helped him to do fake posts and fake stuff to yeah, kind of hype up his image. How, how does exactly does it leave you there for this seizure? Like, did he not call police or anything? He is, didn't really get into it. So I don't know if he's like, he might have a seizure. Oh, you good? And he just went away. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, what is Travis Scott? What, is he medically clear to have those credentials yeah. to help I, a guy I don't know having he was a saying seizure? Because he didn't, well, since he wasn't yeah, clear. Yeah, because he really didn't go in So I don't know if he yeah. was saying because he didn't call nobody go to go get any help. That's what he's saying. He just went back to the cops like, oh, you good? If <laughs> I tell you how to see you doing my concert, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't even know, man. Damn, yeah. I, I and I guess too, I still look at what are we? Where's the humanity at? Mm. I think overall, that's what one thing I look at. I think that's the one part that no one's really, really discussing. They discuss some Travis Scott. They discuss the venue. Yeah. But what about the people that actually that doing actually a push the crowd, yeah. that actually was jumping on the EMS truck, that actually was pushing on, trying to get on the stage and climbing up on the towers and stuff like that? How you don't have compassion when you're seeing this stuff happen and say, man, all right, we went too far. Yeah, there's eight, nine people that are dead. You know, how, how, and one and the youngest being 10. Man, that's crazy. Um, first of all, I don't know why the 10 year olds there. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> at a Travis Scott concert? They, they shouldn't even be at a concert like that. A Travis Scott. This is, yeah. I mean, just that kind of atmosphere. Okay. You know, you know what goes on. I've been to concerts. I know what goes on in a concert. People getting high. Yeah. People drunk. Yeah. And, you know, you, you mixing all that kind of, and it's hot. The, the music is hype. You talking about people going to get hype. And, you know, and he kind of like the Marsh Pit kind of stuff. Yeah. Which I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? None of that. I mean, because that's what you expect there. But I guess my thing is like when you going back to the first of all the people at the facility, you start you can start seeing okay, it's getting too crowded. Let's start thinning these yeah. people out, moving people around, find a way to make make space, make space so yeah. that before it gets to where there's so many people you can't even move them. And then the people, like I said, the actual people at the concert, man, when you start seeing these things happen, these like these people wasn't stopping. Yeah, he was egging them on, but still, where's in your mind? Say, okay, this ain't right. Yeah, like that, some ain't right. Some ain't right. Yeah. You know, let, let's just chill out. And I think that's the biggest thing for me that really got me with this incident is like, where's the humanity? That's fair. You now, why, where are we at in society where we so numb to death, we so numb to injury, we so numb to people getting hurt? It's just a it's another post to us. It's just another people taking pictures, bro. People pulling out their phones and videotaping that. That's crazy. <laughs> that's the first instance you have. You know no. what? That pisses me off. Right. That that's one thing that pisses me off <clears throat> with these times mm -hmm. nowadays is you see people who are in need of medical help. Mm -hmm. And the first thing most of these people think is, let me get a view of it. Right. What do you mean get a view? Are you if if you're not gonna do do anything to go help medically help them. Mm -hmm. You better be calling police, right. calling EMS, fire, right. whatever, and get the hell out the way. Right, right, right. Well, what are we doing with with the? Got to be the. Got to be the first one to post it. Got to be the up, first one to post it. I got evidence. You know, and do TikTok. Like, like, like they waiting for TMZ to call them right. for, for a price for, for to get your clip. Mm -hmm. Like, I, th I, I think that's what people are doing. I think so too, bro. It's like, why are you that driven to have that kind of piece of clip? Mm -hmm. To to you know a, get sold to a, 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 a you know a, a, a gossip site or right. website or right. whatever mm -hmm. instead of being like just a human being be like yo like clear the area let's get these people some help or get on the phone and call the people that can help right hey, why is that first instinct get on my phone get on my phone Instagram like, YouTube right. Facebook right hey hey TMZ I got the exclusive clip like come on man like. Shit like that is is on another level, and that shit's annoying. So, but overall, I I, I do believe there's a, a good amount of blame that goes through everybody. But I I'm I'm a I'm gonna put Live Nation first for okay. being money hungry, okay, and and allowing that capacity to be filled to the brim and over overly mm -hmm. occupied by that many of people, right? And um, then I then uh. I'm gonna go medical staff too for not okay. being prepared to take care of these people. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna go uh the crowd that is inciting it. Okay. And then I'm gonna go Travis. 
okay. for for egging on the uh, 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 the, the crowd uh, uh, because you know you, you know you, when you have a certain behavior and you have that control over it, you know, just stop the set, bro. Just, stop just it, pause. Man. Just pause it. Right. That crowd's not going to go nowhere. They're going to wait for you to finish your set because mm-hmm. they they didn't probably pay fifty plus dollars for this right, shit. Right, so right. they're not going nowhere. Mm-hmm. And they ain't, ain't going. And they, you know, they because they're going to raise hell. You just try to bounce up out of there. So right. you clear the situation and you turn your music back on and keep the party going. It as it. The last piece that we uh, want to discuss about this before we uh, um, get on out of here. Well, two things. First, the lawsuits. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you're hearing people open up multiple lawsuits and stuff like that. Well, I guess I can tie these two together. Uh-huh. What does this do to Travis Scott's career? I don't think it do nothing. You don't think it does anything? Mm-mm. Because it, uh, he already um, pushed back the release of his new album. But in the day and time we live in, I don't, I'm not even sure that's going to affect him. I think he could have released the album and it's still been all right. It's still been all right. And that's what I'm saying. You got to show such a short term memory and kind of stuff now because everything is like, you know, what have you done for me lately? Boom, boom, boom. What's next? So I think, like, because stuff is keep coming out, mm-hmm. so it may be maybe a couple weeks to a month before you get all the information out. Then I think that's going to die down now. And then you probably won't hear nothing else until maybe the lawsuits kick in. Mm-hmm. You know, I know Alec Baldwin grateful. Cause anybody talk about him no more. Cause now they talk about this. You know what I'm saying? But boy, I look ball and happy about some other shit that goes on there. <laughs> the, look, the, the Raiders got enough information <laughs> coming out of there that he might fly under the radar. <laughs> but he's I, thanking the Raiders like a motherfucker. Uh, but uh, yeah. So I think that you know that part right there is people are discussing. Okay, the, will you hear anything from Travis Scott for a while? Or this may you know, keep them silent for a while. But I, I don't think so. I don't either. I don't think so. But I think because of the day and time we live in, that we have such a short-term memory that month tops, you won't even hear nothing about it again until the lawsuits kick in. And then once those kick out, you won't hear nothing else. And then he can release new albums. And nobody, everybody still be buying his music. You know, um, and so those people who actually watched this video, drop some of the comments and tell me what you think. Is this the end of Travis Scott? Mm-hmm. Or, you know, uh, or do you agree with us with the, this is going to be like a short-term memory thing and he'll be back out popular, even more popular than ever. Because you know what they say about publicity? Yeah. It is, is Whether good or bad, it's mm-hmm. always good. Because now people who probably never heard of Travis Scott is talking about oh, Travis Scott. Exactly. You know, and, you know, and here's the funny thing. I think that sicko mode is going to make even more money. money. The reason why I say that is because the one thing I hear everybody saying is like, first, they keep mentioning sicko mode. First, they'll say, well, when these people are dying, they're playing sicko mode in the background. And, or some people say, well, only what song I really listen to is sicko mode, sicko mode. So my thing is, if I never heard of Travis Scott, let me see what sicko mode sounds like. I never heard that. So he's going to you Google it and you're going to start playing it. And if it's that, you know, if you like it, I kind of like this. I mean, they ain't stop playing our Kelly music. You know, so I don't see why they're going to stop playing his music. You go on Spotify right now and pull up R. Kelly. Right. <laughs> they ain't stop playing. He's he been convicted now. Yeah. And he's still in rotation. Do you hear people? You heard people defend R. Kelly. I mean, I know he did. I'm still going to play his music. Yeah. You know, and I think that's another part, a portion of our society. Now, I'm going to say this and we'll get up out of here, but. I am I am not saying that we should be full blown cancel culture. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that. Yeah, you no, know, I think that cancel culture whole thing it's holding it, too much it, power, it just, bro. It's just being blown out of proportion. Yeah, and we need to cancel. We need well, you know, and cancel everybody for anything. So, but I think at the same time, though, I do think that when someone does something that's horrific or something that's that doesn't show like any kind of love or concern for humanity. We should not be supporting that particular person. That is true. You know, and I think in this case, because he has a history of this, it is the first time incident 
the argument could be made. It's like, yeah, he held it wrong. Yeah, it's a little irresponsible. I, I let Go me ahead. say this. I mm-hmm. think he's shown the same behavior. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I I think it, it's only getting to this point because eight, nine people died. Mm-hmm. So, you know. But it's escalate. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So, so now that we got to that point of escalation of death, mm-hmm. now it needs to be addressed. Right. And not only by certain venues that will book him, mm-hmm. and they need to make sure they get proper medical staff, proper security, and they need to be having proper ocu- occupancy space. Right. And then also, Travis needs to start addressing his concert staff. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe I shouldn't incite certain right. high energy. Right. Get hype. Things. Don't get me wrong. Get hype. Oh, that's get a different, hype. Yeah, come on. We know yeah, there's a I'm difference saying, between yeah. being hype well, I mean, and being people overblown. Okay. I'm saying that for people okay. listening. Okay. Cause I don't want nobody to think that we saying you shouldn't be hyped. No, because you know it's I'm a at concert. a concert. Yeah. You know, we especially if I'm high or drunk. Yeah, I really want to get hyped. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because you feeling that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, get hyped. But when something like this happens, yeah. you gotta know how to say okay. Pause. Pause for a minute. <laughs> Let's get this situation taken care of. And we'll come back. Even if you have, I mean, worst come to worst. Because you can think about other concerts. I remember, uh, was it Rolling Stones? Or Rolling Loud or something like that. It was way or back Woodstock in the day. It, it, well, Woodstock, it wasn't Woodstock. Yeah, but I it mean, before I was born, but I remember people talking about it. I'm pretty it. sure Woodstock had their fair shares of sexual allegations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but it was a concert where I can't, I remember like it was a lot of deaths. Mm-hmm. Hey, I wish I could remember. Anyway, it was, I don't remember. It was, I think it was in the 60s. Okay. But anyway, and you know, so stuff like that happened. I, I went to the first, what's it, Fresh Fest or Fresh Festival? I forgot what it's called. And she, Man, they was fighting up in there on you know you on a general mission on the floor standing up and they fighting you know you can really do you yeah. in the middle of that ain't, ain't you know what I'm saying? Room to go and, I mean people was taking the cheers up on the ground throwing them on there. I wow. mean they was acting wild wow. yeah you know and thank God I didn't get hurt yeah you know I didn't I, I was able to move out the way and but you really, never know though but you never know you might be you thought you was in the right spot mm-hmm. you never know you <laughs> catch one yeah or you know whatever I mean it was wild let's put it that way so I, I like it's not. Like, I understand that I've seen concerts get out of hand. But one thing I will say at that particular concert, they turned the lights on like, and try to straighten that stuff out. Yeah. You know. Because I've been to a concert before where, you know, motherfuckers was throwing shit. Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 cut that shit out. We're yeah, yeah. in this concert right now. Right, right. No refund. Right. No refund. All right. All right. Let's get you out. <laughs> talk, we talk about money. Yeah. You know. Let's go ahead and get our show what we pay for. <laughs> right. And, and that's the thing, man. And I, I think that's the. For, that's what we should tie tie this in up mm-hmm. with is that first, like I said, not supporting st- stuff when it gets to this level, and second is let's as a nation, as people, as as humanity, have more compassion and humanity for each other. Because mm-hmm. you know when stuff like this happens, there's and, and, and let me say this too. There were people that helped. So I'm not saying it was just like total chaos and people didn't help. You know, people were doing things like crowd surfing people out of the crowd. But it's going to get to the point where you can't even walk, where security can't come in and get somebody or medical staff can't come and get somebody that you have to literally crowd surf somebody. Mm -hmm. That right there is ridiculous. But anyway, so yeah, that's that's our our little uh, point or, you know, take on the Travis Scott incident. I'm sure it's going to be more stuff to come out. Don't forget to like and su- subscribe when you see this or watch this. Share it. You know, help out the YouTube ag- algorithm. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think. You know, do you agree or disagree with us? Mm-hmm. Who and who deserves a plane? Does yeah. I think it's everybody. Yeah. I, and, you know, um, I only know if I, I only know how to rank them. But, <laughs> you know, I think it's everybody. All y'all. <laughs> you know, it's, a t- and it's whole totality. But, no, let us know. Who you All think. y'all can share it. Right. Who you think should get the blame? Should it be Travis? Should it be Live Nation? Yeah. The venue? Or whatever. But, I don't know. You got any last words before we get out of here, bro? No, nah, man. Just uh, happiness. Yeah. You find it. Love and happiness. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Love. <laughs> Love and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> we out, y'all. It's your boy Wild Card Mar in the building. Detroit Mail. We leaving. We out. Peace. <laughs>